All right, what is going on, everybody? It is 8.16 p.m. my time here. And so I hope you guys have noticed that it was a buy for USDJPY. Pretty much it's still a buy. Uh, if you notice that, I'll show you guys on the what, what I noticed. Instead of looking at the four hour, I looked at the one hour. But we can go ahead and go back and shift back to the four hour. I'm gonna show you guys. I finally decided that to make the shift. But <clears throat> right now it's back to the sell mode because if you look it jumped all the way up to 109.76 and now it's trading at 109.6 now and so I wouldn't be surprised if it drops back uh, a lot of people are trying to see if it's a strong buy uh, for the night I don't know if it's going to be a strong buy for the night the way it spiked up a lot already and I've been I, I've been keeping my eye on the one hour because the one hour shifts first before the four hour shifts. And so gold gold spiked down back to twelve eighty five, but then now it's back to twelve eighty six. And so so it's kind of tough uh, to work with. Uh, this is the. I'll show you in my JFX account. Um, this is the last time trading JFX. Uh, not I will, I will not go back to JFX. Uh, the the swap fees are ridiculous, ridiculously high. If you're trading a high lot, commissions are four times what you bet on. So if you bet five cents, you're paying twenty cents off the lot, and then whatever the spread is. I think that's kind of high to be honest. Fim, um, I'm going back to FinPro. Uh, I just put 200 in Bitcoin. Everything, everything just got confirmed uh, within like half an hour. And so I'm just waiting. I won't, I won't be trading FinPro tonight. Uh, not until I get my matching bonus. And so, and then uh, I'm gonna take it easy. I'm trying to try and be consistent. Uh, no. And so, so you guys can see I got, I got my money in there. I'm waiting for them to match that, match that bonus, and then uh, we can go ahead and get all situated for tomorrow morning. Um. Yeah, like I said, this this is the last time I'm trading. I'm trading JFX. Um, it was cool to trade. Thank God I didn't put too much money in it. I think it was just cool just to see what what they had to offer. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, it, it's just ridiculous paying four times the commission, and then the swap fees are just pretty high. Uh, the lowest. Swap fees I've seen so far are from LMFX on the premium account for LMFX, and plus on the premium account for LMFX, they don't charge any commission whatsoever. The spreads are high, pretty high. They're higher than JFX and FinPro, but they don't charge commission, and the swap fee is pretty pretty low. Uh, but I I'm gonna stick with FinPro since LMFX. Uh, hasn't decided to do Bitcoin. So, you know, the, the second time that I did Bitcoin, like I said, it, it took less than half an hour for the moment it went from Coinbase to FinPro with the unconfirmed balance and then when they confirmed the balance. So, you're talking about the pro, I'm talking about the processing side part. So it took about half an hour versus four to four to five hours for them to figure it out for my, for the first time for my Bitcoin deposit. And so, um, other than that, I mean, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if USD, USDJ fly drops back from hitting that 109.7 mark, because it is dropping back to 109.6 right now, and it's still, and it's still slowly dropping back. Um, 
other than that, um, if it does drop all night, then I anticipate a buy for tomorrow. Um, I wasn't expecting it to um, rise up this much, but but like I said, for the pattern that I was talking about, I, I've been noticing that it will rise up at night and then it'll drop in the morning. But if, if it's if it's gonna reverse around this time frame, then I'm expecting a buy for tomorrow. Um, I. Hang on. Farrell, stop! Stop it, girl. Burst, stop. Okay, so <clears throat> that's all I'm anticipating for tonight. I'm just waiting for uh, it, probably won't be till midnight till they match the bonus. Um, I, I can still trade, but I'm not going to. Um, la this is the last day trading live with JFX. Um, I already talked about what I don't like about JFX, and so I'm sticking with FinPro. Lowest spreads, lowest commissions, the swap fees are in the middle. But you can't beat the lowest spreads and the lowest commissions. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, if USDJPY does keep dropping from where it peaked up at 109.7, then uh, I'll be I'll be buying it tomorrow. Um, other than that. That's all I got. I'm gonna, it, um, like I said, they t they told me that the, for FinPro's bonus, uh, it's gonna take about three to four hours, and it's on United Kingdom's time frame, so they said that around midnight, and so, which I think it's probably like, I think, um, eight in the morning for them, eight in the morning, seven in the morning for them, somewhere around there. So, oh, I just gotta wait for that, and uh. I might stay up tonight. I don't know if I am. Uh, if I do stay up tonight, then I'll do a video for London sessions. But that's what I'm expecting tonight because gold's trying to pick up its feet right now. It went, dropped all the way down to 1285. Right now it's back at 1286. Gold, I mean, uh, USDJY dropped from 109.7 down to 109.63 right now. So that's 100 points. It's already dropped in. Uh, <clears throat> And I'm just gonna be sticking with him for a while. Uh, it was it was a good two days trading live with JFX, but I mean it is what it is. I mean you get you get the best of both worlds. You figure out what's what's pros and what's cons, and what you know what's good and bad, what you like and what you don't like out of out of the forex broker. And so, <clears throat> so <clears throat> I'm just glad I didn't put a lot of money into JFX. I'm just being honest about that. And uh, <clears throat> that's all I'm expecting. Um, Jackson Hole did the Jackson Hole meeting did start tonight, uh, about an hour ago, but nothing really has made any shifts yet. So we'll see if London sessions um, spark anything because um, Draghi is supposed to be speaking at that meeting for what he wants to do with the uh, Euro Central Bank and their monetary policies but big big the big two the two key items for us tomorrow i'm paying attention to is 9 a.m for the durable good orders and 11 a.m for yellen's speech and so all eyes will be on yellen because she's got to talk about a lot of stuff for the fall and december and so we will see where that goes. <clears throat> um, other than that, that's that's all I got. I'm just gonna be waiting till four, four or five hours from now until they get the matching bonus, and then I then I'll go ahead and go live with Finpro again. So, other than that, I'm just keeping my eye on the markets, on the charts, and uh, I'm still I'm still got ten bucks in JFX. So I mean, I'll just wait it out and see what's going on with that. And then, if it closes out, it closes out. That's it. You know. So. 
that's all I got. Uh, that's all I got for tonight. And then if everything goes well with Finpro, then I'll make another video if I decide to stay up for London sessions. So, other than that, um, big news for Friday morning for US. That'll be something to pay attention to, especially if you train US pairs.